Aloha, good evening graduates, faculty, staff, family and friends, and welcome to the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources, our CITAR Spring 2020 Virtual Convocation. My name is Martin Motooka, and I am one of CITAR's academic advisors for the college and will serve as your co-MC. And my name is Irene Morrow. I am also an academic advisor for CITAR and your co-MC for tonight's ceremony. Before we get started with the formal program, I would like to remind you to sign into YouTube to participate in the chat. Detailed instructions for YouTube login have been posted on the CTAR Convocation website. If you have any questions or problems during the program, please let us know in the chat and our moderators will respond to you. Now, here's our program. We'll have some welcome instructions. An Oli by Samantha Alvarado, Welcome Speaker, CTAR Dean and Director, Dr. Nicholas Comaford. Keynote Speaker, Hawaii State Representative, Lisa Kitagawa Akagi. Student Marshal Speakers, Cody Ching, Sabrina Summers, and Samantha Alvarado. Honor Society Recognition. Presentation of Graduates. Honored Speaker, UHM Provost, Dr. Michael Bruno. Closing remarks by CTAR Interim Associate Dean of Academic Affairs, Dr. Anya Viachorik, and an evaluation. While we are still practicing safe physical distancing, it is wonderful to be with all of you socially here tonight. We have a wonderful program planned for you, including five raffle prizes just for tuning in. Please fill out the raffle form at the provided link to enter. You only need to enter once, and winners will be announced live on our CTAR Instagram throughout the program. We encourage all of you to use the hashtag CTARGrad to fill out the social media board showing your CTAR pride. This might be a photo of you from our school or while watching the program right now. To start off the festivities, CTAR master student Samantha Alvarado will perform the CTAR only. It was composed by her advisor, Dr. Mehana Vaughn, and gifted to the college in 2013. He aloha no ka aina ulu vehi, vehi ke aloha o na kupunae. 
e puna vai i ke kau i ka hano, hano, hano vale o mano ae. E ho mai ka mau popopono, pono mai uka ai ka ie. Aloha e, aloha e, aloha e. Thank you, Samantha, for your beautiful performance. Now we'd like to invite Dr. Nicholas Comerford, Dean and Director of Research and Extension of the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources to welcome you here this evening. Welcome to the graduates and families of the Spring 2020 graduating class here in the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources. I've been associated with universities in one form or another for the last five decades. And in this most unique set of circumstances, I've never seen a convocation happen in this fashion, happening under the most unique conditions that I've experienced. We could not let our seniors leave without some type of ceremony to say goodbye, to say good luck, and to say that we're still here if you need us. First, I'd like to speak to the family members of our graduates. To paraphrase Will Rogers, we have good times and bad times at different times. Unfortunately, that is not the case here. In this case, we have a little of both happening at the same time. We congratulate you and your family on the good times, and that's the success of your student. And we recognize that this is not the best of times for the state, for the nation and the world. But we hope that you remember that su the support you gave your graduate during the last few years has yielded the result that we've all been working for, and that's the degree a degree which is a representation of unique knowledge that your graduate gained, and maybe more importantly over time, the incorporation of critical thinking into other parts of the career and the person's life. We are facing hard times, but even under hard times, the value of a college degree is important to your student and to your family. Why is that? Well, research tells us that with the degree, your student will be able to command a better salary, even have more job options under difficult economic times, have more job security once they get their job, and can handle adversity better. They'll have more job satisfaction, they'll have better health on average, and what's more important uh, to you as a family, they are less likely to live with their parents, and they're more likely to be able to care for their elderly parents with time. To the graduates, I want to say, Thank you for coming to the college. As you leave CTAR, you remain part of the college as alumni. As you develop your career, you can still play a role in the college. You can mentor young people as to the value of an education, hopefully in CTAR if we fit their needs. As new graduates emerge, you may be in a position to direct them towards job opportunities in your field. Any success you have in your field is a partial success for the college, and we want to hear from you. So keep in touch. We can help you keep in touch with your fellow graduates through the Alumni Association. So I started this talk with one of my favorite social commentators, which was Will Rogers. He remains relevant today, even though he lived in the early 1900s. Let me end with one of my other favorite social commentators, Samuel Clements, better known as Mark Twain. In his down-home wisdom, there's always something to keep in mind from what he says. First, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. This is your opportunity to get started. You're gonna get started in a difficult situation, and if we can help, we will. Related to that, Mark Twain also said, there are basically two types of people, people who accomplish things and people who claim to have accomplished things. The first group is less crowded. Come join that first group. Congratulations and good luck on your future career. Thank you, Dean Comerford. My name is Jesse Radovich and I am CTAR's Connection Specialist. As CTAR graduates, you will be part of an international network of proud CTAR alumni. 
After graduating, we encourage all of you to become involved in our alumni activities. It is my honor to introduce Hawaii State Representative Lisa Kitsagawa Akagi as our keynote speaker. She graduated with distinction with a Bachelor of Science degree in CTAR's Family Resources Program with a minor in speech and subsequently a master's degree in higher education administration. Prior to becoming a public servant, Lisa worked at CTAR for 12 years, building programs that have greatly benefited our student Ohana. Please welcome State Representative and former CTAR Specialist, Lisa Kitagawa Akagi. Aloha CTAR faculty, staff, and students, and a special aloha to CTAR's graduating class of 2020 and their family and friends. My name is Lisa Kitagawa, and I have the honor of serving my hometown of Kaneohe as a state representative for District 48. Prior to my election to the state legislature, I worked at the University of Hawaii at Manoa for over 12 years, many of those years in the Academic and Student Affairs Office at CTAR. I love the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources. The lessons I learned while at CTAR are still with me today. As an undergraduate student, I was a family resources major in CTAR. The academic and life lessons that I learned from my professors are things that I still use in my daily life as a working professional and as a wife and mother. The friendships that I made during my time in college are still relationships that I treasure to this day. I am sure that many of you also have these same types of experiences from your time in CTAR. I know that this semester, your last semester in college, has not gone as you expected. I am sure that you had looked forward to seeing your classmates in class and working together to complete projects, staying up late with your friends to study for finals in the residence halls or in the library, and going out on weekends to enjoy the small break that you had from all of your academic demands. But instead, your last semester in college has been marked by a stay-at-home order and distance education. Seeing your professors, classmates, and friends through the computer screen or on your phone has now become the norm. I share your disappointment that you won't have a commencement ceremony that culminates your many years of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice with lay and hugs from your family and friends. I wish that things were different, but we are in unprecedented times. But here's what I've learned through all of this. We, you, are stronger than this situation. You have risen to this challenge by completing your academic requirements despite all of the changes. You have overcome this stressful situation by supporting each other through all of the ups and downs, and you will continue to push forward to make this world a better place. The skills and knowledge that you have learned at CTAR will take you far. You have world-class faculty that have pushed you to think outside of the box while also encouraging you to do your best. I have always believed that CTAR graduates were some of the most prepared graduates for the workforce because you were able to directly make a difference in the areas that you majored in. And in times like these, our community will need you even more. We need those in agriculture to help Hawaii become more self-sustainable, to find ways to import less and to take care of our own communities. We need those in biosciences and technology to look at new ways to create energy so we are less dependent on outside sources and can decrease our impact on climate change. And we need those who are in the helping professions to continue to serve our keiki to kupuna because the needs are great. All of you, no matter what your major is, plays an important role in helping us to come out of this pandemic in a positive way. As someone who now serves in the state legislature, I see every day how people can focus on only the negatives. People who say our economy will never recover, families will always be in need. But I know that you, CTAR graduates, you don't see things that way. You are problem solvers, leaders, and team players who will get the job done. CTAR has prepared you well for whatever the future holds. Have confidence in that and know that you will make a positive difference in the lives of others. Our communities need you and are counting on you to rise to the challenge and make Hawaii a better place. 
To the parents, families, and friends of the graduates, thank you. Thank you for showing your love and support to them. They could not have done this without you. Congratulations, CTAR Class of 2020. You have much to be proud of. Aloha and take care. Mahalo to State Representative Lisa Kitagawa Akagi for being with us tonight. Our first raffle prize winner has just been posted. Please check our CTAR Instagram or convocation page to see if you won. Now let's take this time to recognize our student marshals who are selected each semester to represent CTAR at the university's commencement ceremony. Student marshals are selected based on their leadership, scholarship, and service to the college and the university. Our first undergraduate student marshal is Cody Che. She is an animal sciences major with a minor in biology. Cody's accomplishments include volunteering at the Honolulu Zoo, completing a study abroad trip to South Africa, founding the CTAR Animal Sciences Club, serving as a student ambassador for the past three years, and receiving numerous awards, including the Kahana Pookea Award and Student of the Year Award. Next fall, Cody will begin her Master of Science degree in Natural Resource and Environmental Management and hopes to become a field biologist and work with endangered species. Please welcome my friend and yours, Cody. Hi everyone, my name is Cody Ching and it's an honor to serve as one of your student marshals. Thank you for everyone for logging in today to come and celebrate CTAR Spring 2020 graduating class. I know we were all expecting a huge commencement for a job well done, but at least we still have our achievements and thanks to CTAR's faculty and staff, this online commencement. The journey that led to graduation was filled with many hard times and many good times and there are still many challenges up ahead. But the skills that we learned through our degrees and the people that we met will help us guide through the tough roads. Some people that I would like to thank in particular are my parents, my mom, my dad, and both of my step-parents for helping me every step of the way. I'd also like to thank all of my friends for never giving up in me and never letting me give up in myself. And finally, I'd like to thank CTAR for all of the opportunities within these past four years and all that are yet to come. Congratulations, guys, we did it! Our second undergraduate student marshal is Sabrina Summers, who is double majoring in biological engineering and chemistry. She is interested in renewable energy and sustainability. She is a member of the Biological Engineering Student Association, CTAR Student Ambassadors, and InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. In addition, she works at the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute as a student research assistant investigating biomass conversion and feedstock characterization. This fall, she will begin a PhD program in biological and agricultural engineering. It's my pleasure to introduce Sabrina Summer. Hi CTAR friends and family. Thank you for joining us tonight as we celebrate the hard work and dedication of our graduating class. And to the class of 2020, congratulations. Through my four years here as a student in CTAR, I've been inspired by the college's commitment to student success. It's hard to explain just how grateful I am for the opportunities and experiences I've had here, but I'd like to especially thank and recognize the professors, academic advisors, administrative staff, and faculty. The time you spend with and for students does not go unnoticed. Coming in as a freshman, I was shy and nervous. I didn't know what to expect for my college experience. My second semester here, the Biological Engineering Club put on an activity day at Kualoa Ranch. Even though I didn't know anybody who was going, I decided to attend, mostly because it was free and there was going to be food. There, I was met with peers who were passionate and wholehearted, as well as upperclassmen and mentors who showered me with advice and encouragement. What really struck me though was the intention and eagerness of the upperclassmen to build relationships with others. They were not superficial in their conversations with us, but asked meaningful questions to really get to know our hobbies, backgrounds, and passions. Though this may have been a small gesture on their end, it had a lasting impact on me and influenced the type of student and person I want to be. One of my favorite quotes is, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I hope that going forward, especially during a time that may be unfamiliar to many of us, we will continue to support each other in the little ways that we can. Congratulations again, class of 2020, and I can't wait to see the things that we accomplish. Finally, our advanced degree student marshal is Samantha Alvarado. 
Sam will be the first in CSAR history to be selected twice to serve as a marshal, once as an undergraduate and now as a master's student. She has called CTAR home for five years where she has received her Bachelor's of Science degree and today her Master's degree in Environmental Management with honors distinction. Samantha has received numerous awards and has served in various positions in the college and the community, supporting the next generation through education and mentorship. Please welcome our next student marshal, Samantha. Aloha everyone. Although today may not be the graduation ceremony that we had imagined, it has allowed a lot more people to join us than a traditional ceremony would have allowed. I've had the pleasure of completing both my undergraduate and my graduate degrees here in CTAR. With the only constant in life being changed, I, it has been nice to find comfort in the warm, familiar faces and the well-lived-in places that I have come to cherish here in CTAR. The people of CTAR are brilliant, driven, and selfless. They dream of restoring forests, feeding their communities, and reforming institutions and policies, or in other words, changing the world. CTAR has a quality about it that I have not experienced anywhere else, and that is due in large part to the people that make up our college. There are many things that I have learned as a graduate student. I have learned how to defend a proposal, write an executive summary, and somewhat balance work, school, research, pets, friends, and family, all while having plenty of time left over to vent about how much work I actually have to do, instead of actually doing it. However, in reality, these are not the most important things that I have learned. Dr. Comerford, the dean of our college, always takes the time to ask me about my family. Dr. Viachorek strives to provide students with opportunities, not only for those in our college, but for students all over Hawaii. Mandy and Jesse, and everyone in our office and advising, makes the time for students no matter what time of day, all while making sure that our college runs. Kavella always shows up to lend a helping hand. Kupa'a always washes the dishes after every lab meeting. The way Cody says your name makes you smile. Sienna makes sure that nobody feels forgotten about on their birthday. Hi'ile opens her heart, mind, and home fully with no hesitation. There are millions of instances that surround us every day that provide us with that magic that makes life worth living. We often walk through life too preoccupied to notice all of the beautiful moments, like the Dean's humility, the staff's sacrifice, and your lab mate's thoughtfulness. I would like to thank each and every person who has touched my life and contributed to my journey. CTAR has encouraged me to wake up every morning and emulate the people that I admire most. And I implore you, to do the same. Imagine all the wonderful things that are still yet to come. Mahalo Piha. Mahalo Cody, Sabrina, and Samantha for your words of inspiration and your outstanding commitment to the college. Please join us in congratulating these outstanding students in the chat. Our second raffle prize winner has just been posted. Please check our CTAR Instagram or convocation page to see if you won. We would like to recognize the students of Gamma Sigma Delta, the International Honor Society of Agriculture. Gamma Sigma Delta was founded in 1905 and our Hawaii chapter in 1968. Invitation to Gamma Sigma Delta is offered to outstanding students who show leadership in agriculture and related sciences. Juniors must rank in the top 5% of their class and seniors must rank in the top 15% of their class. CTAR is very proud to recognize the following graduating Gamma Sigma Delta seniors. Savannah Gabriela Francesca Adler and Tara Salima. Please send your congratulations to these students in the chat. Our third raffle prize winner has just been posted. Please check our CTAR Instagram or CTAR Convocation website to see if you won. We will now start the recognition of degree candidates. First up will be the bachelors, followed by masters, and then our PhD program graduates. CTAR graduating students will be recognized in alpha order by their degree program and their last name. Savannah Gabriella Francesca Adler. 
Bachelor of Science in Fashion Design and Merchandising. After graduation, Savannah will become a lecturer for the Small Business Startup course at the University of Hawaii at Manoa in the Fashion Design and Merchandising Department. She will then obtain a Master's of Arts in Creative Business Leadership from the Savannah College of Art and Design in Savannah, Georgia next year, Fall 2021. Antero Al Arkan, Bachelor's of Science in Dietetics. After graduating, Antero plans to complete a dietetic internship. Paul Brian Balico, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. After graduation, Paul Bryan plans to mitigate university level food insecurity. Rafaela Ne Che, Bachelor of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Biotechnology. Upon graduation, Rafaela plans to study and take the NCLEX nursing board exam as early as possible and work as a registered nurse. Later on, she might merge both of her undergraduate degrees towards graduate studies. However, she has not decided on what it could be, but she is timidly thinking of clinical nurse practitioner, genetic counseling, or cancer immunology. Cody Ching, Bachelor of Science in Animal Sciences. After graduating, Cody plans to focus on a master's in natural resources and environmental management, hopefully doing research to help Hawaii's endangered native animals. Julia Lauren Chazanskis, Bachelor of Science in Fashion Design and Merchandising. After graduating, Julia plans to travel abroad to intern at a media marketing group for retail businesses. Nahien Chowdhury, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. After graduating, Nahien plans to work in community wellness careers and then later attend graduate school. Taylor Ann Cobb, Bachelor of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Biotechnology. Taylor plans to continue education at UH for a Master's of Science or PhD. Mark Joseph Elias, Bachelor of Science in Molecular Biosciences and Biotechnology. After graduating, Mark plans to continue on to graduate school here at UH Manoa in the Molecular Biosciences and Bioengineering program. Jordan Guvea, Bachelor of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating, Jordan plans to pursue experience before continuing education. Brittany Hamasaki, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. After graduating, Brittany plans to complete her dietetic internship with Sudexo while also completing a master's degree in dietetics. Christine Ashley Hernandez, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. After graduating, Christine plans to start a career in quality assurance and apply to graduate school. Cheyenne Nicole Hilke, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. After Cheyenne graduates, she plans to further her studies in the nutrition field and work with children. Wisdom Pauline Inigo, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. After graduating, Wisdom plans to attend a dietetic internship and continue her journey in becoming a registered dietitian. Darcy Inoue, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. After graduation, Darcy plans to take a gap year, move to the East Coast, and earn a master's in food science. Ryan Thomas Lata, Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. After graduating, Ryan plans to enter the workforce in a marine science field. Savannah Lendrum, Bachelor of Science in Fashion Design and Merchandising. After graduation, Savannah plans to travel and start her own clothing brand. Krista Mahan, Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. After graduating, Krista plans to pursue job opportunities with wildlife management and forestry. Mari McClinney, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. After graduation, Mari plans to finish her hours to become an International Board Certified Lactation Consultant, IBCLC, and start working on developing a line of healthy food products. Summer Lee Olivon, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Human Nutrition. After graduating, Summer plans to explore nutritional opportunities while traveling the world. Caitlin Sumiko Onaga, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. After graduating, Caitlin plans to continue to explore different careers in nutrition in pursuit of becoming a registered dietitian. Daniel Q. Park, Bachelor of Science in Animal Sciences. 
After graduating, Daniel plans to pursue a career in the veterinary field. Marina Desiree Quesada, Bachelor of Science in Animal Sciences. After graduating, Marina plans to go into the field of marine life conservation. Sarah Carter Rushing, Bachelor of Science in Animal Sciences. After graduating, Sarah plans to move back to the mainland and attend a veterinary school. Alana Marie Salas, Bachelor of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating, Alana plans to work in the family services field before returning to school for a graduate degree. Catalina Salinas, Bachelor of Science in Human Development and Family Studies. After graduating, Catalina will continue studies by getting a master's degree in education to later become an elementary school teacher. Catalina will follow in her mother's footsteps, becoming a second grade teacher. Liana Sishin, Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. After graduation, Liana plans to devote life to creating green, sustainable, and resilient communities around the world. Jordan Shelley, Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management. After graduating, Jordan plans to search for a professional position in coastal management and marine conservation. Sabrina Summers, Bachelor of Science in Biological Engineering. After graduating, Sabrina plans to attend the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign as a PhD student in Agricultural and Biological Engineering. Angela Warner, Bachelor of Science in Animal Sciences. After graduation, Angela will be attending Colorado State University's College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. Rose Mary Wenderski, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. After graduating, Rose plans on completing the Sodexo Dietetic Internship and going on to complete a Master's in Dietetics from the University of Rhode Island. Keeley Brooke Wright, Bachelor of Science in Animal Sciences. After graduating, Keeley plans to live her best life. Michael Philip Enchetta Llanos, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. After graduation, Michael plans to adopt a cute dog tell their parents they love and appreciate them, and drink with friends. Samantha Alvarado, Masters in Environmental Management. After graduation, Samantha will teach for the Pueo program at Punahou School while working as a lead mentor and program coordinator for the Grow With Us mentorship program here in CTAR. Samantha will also pursue a PhD in Tropical Plant and Soil Science in Dr. Noah Lincoln's Indigenous Cropping Systems Lab. Hi'ile Kamaile Casco, Masters of Environmental Management. After graduating, Hi'ile will be attending the William S. Richardson School of Law to study Native Hawaiian and Environmental Law. Derek Esabil, Masters of Science in Natural Resources and Environmental Management, Plan C. After graduating, Derek plans to continue to serve communities of Hawaii. Andrea Flores Kelly, Masters of Science in Food Science. After graduation, Andrea plans to go back home and visit with family and friends. These past two years without them have been tough. Catherine Andrade Paradis, Masters of Science in Animal Science. After graduating, Catherine plans to stick around Hawaii and work until getting accepted to a veterinary school. Sienna Shar, Masters of Environmental Management. After graduating, Sienna plans to attend the William S. Richardson School of Law beginning in the fall of 2020. Mahalo to all of the NRAM faculty and peers for their support and guidance. Congratulations to all our CTAR graduates. We are so proud of your academic accomplishments and wish you much success in all of your future endeavors. Our fourth and fifth raffle prize winners have just been posted. Please check our CTAR Instagram or CTAR Convocation website to see if you won. Now I'd like to introduce the Provost at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Dr. Michael Bruno, for his remarks. Aloha, class of 2020 CTAR graduates. I'm Michael Bruno, Provost of UH Manoa, and it is my distinct honor to lend my voice to all those many voices across our university, across your college, out in the community, and of course, among your families and your friends 
Together we say, congratulations, you did it. You have accomplished so much, and you have so much ahead of you. Yes, these are uncertain and challenging times, but we have every confidence that you have been prepared to take on any challenge, no matter how great, and to make a real and lasting impact here in Hawaii, on the mainland, or wherever life's journey takes you. And so, to the graduates of family and consumer sciences, human nutrition, food and animal sciences, molecular biosciences and bioengineering, natural resources and environmental management, plant and environmental protection sciences, and tropical plant and soil sciences. To all of you, we are so very proud of what you've accomplished and we are all looking forward to learning and watching all of your accomplishments in the years ahead. Aloha. Mahalo to Provost Bruno for being with us this evening. To end our program, please welcome Dr. Anya Viachorik, Interim Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs. Aloha everyone. My name is Anya Viachorik and I'm the Interim Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs here at CETAR. I would like to say thank you to all the faculty, staff and students who made today's virtual convocation possible. A special big mahalo goes to the Office of Academic and Student Affairs for the amazing work they did to put this event together. Also mahalo to CITAR Fashion Design and Merchandising Faculty and Stoll Society students for making the stalls for our undergraduate students. This includes FDM faculty members Minako McCarthy, Abby Christie, Drs. Andrew Riley, and Barbara Yee. Also, thank you to CITRA's Office of Communication Services, Director Mark Berthold, and Godwin Polenti for providing video production services and the CITRA Centennial Book to all our graduates. Before we end, I would like one more time to congratulate our 149 strong CITA graduating class of 2020. This is tremendous accomplishment. You should be very, very proud of yourself for accomplishing this goal. I have a feeling that you must all be very excited to get your hands on your degree and venture out into the world. As you do so, the most important thing, in my opinion, for you is to find your own path. You are our future, we are getting older, and the world will be in your hands very soon. The world is constantly changing, and you have to go and pave the way of the future. As you do so, it's important for you to be true to yourself. You have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and like what you see. Also, as we all know, especially in the last few weeks, being so hard and unpredictable, we live in the world that is facing lots of challenges and we need science to help us solve some of these issues. Every single degree in CITAR, every single degree that you are all going to receive is degree in science. Today, more than ever, is essential for public to support and understand science. So as a CITAR graduate, you have responsibility to communicate science to public. So what I want you to do, I want you to go out there, do the things that inspire you, make a change, and do not forget who you are. So on that note, on behalf of Dean Camerford, CETA faculty and staff, and myself, congratulations, and go and rock the world. We hope you enjoyed our virtual convocation ceremony, and we would love to hear your thoughts. Your input is valuable to us. Please go to bit.ly slash CTAR virtual to fill out a two minute survey by the end of the night. We wish the graduating class of 2020 great success in their future. Graduates, please stay in touch with CTAR. CTAR is truly a big extended ohana that is strengthened by the presence and involvement of our alumni. We will be contacting you to sign up for CTAR Connect. Stay tuned. Have a great night and aloha.